Hello and welcome everyone, it's Martin here with CryptoGains. Today we're discussing Ethereum's rally in the context of insights from the analytical platform SKU. First of all, what we're observing on this chart is that the Ethereum market cap as a percentage of the Bitcoin market cap is rapidly approaching 50%. Once this psychological level is breached, we could start hearing talks about flippening, which substantially means that Ethereum's overall market cap may exceed that of Bitcoin, which of course is going to pave the way for a massive rally in Ethereum. Next, another insightful chart shows us very steep and very significant increase in the volume of the CME Ether futures, with total open interest and volumes now uh, exceeding 1, 1 billion. Uh, actually nearing 1 billion for the first time in the history of Ethereum. And this signifies the substantial institutional interest behind trading Ethereum derivatives, therefore huge institutional support as well. Moreover, another reason for the rally behind Ethereum has been the increase in the total value locked in decentralized finance protocols, mainly Aave, Uniswap, Compound, Maker and Curve Finance, which are the five biggest, the total value locked now exceeding 50 billion, which is huge support behind the rally in Ethereum. Additionally, what we can see on that chart is that the premium, the implied volatility spread between Ethereum and Bitcoin is also increasing, suggesting that traders at the moment expect more volatility in Ethereum compared to Bitcoin. And finally, here we can see a chart of how the different options prices and probabilities are positioned over uh, the coming months. On the left hand side, here on the X axis we have probability and on the Y axis we have the different prices and we can see that the market is anticipating 10% probability of Ethereum reaching 10,000 by the end of the year. And now armed with these insights, let's move to the technical charts and see how you can trade them. Beginning with Bitcoin versus Tether, the pivot point is 55,300 and above that level there is a good opportunity to buy Bitcoin with the first target at 56,000 and then the next one at 57,000. Conversely, if we break below 55,300, we could be retesting the supports on the short side at 54,600 to as low as 53,500. And now let's take a look at Ethereum. The pivot point for Ethereum sits at 3920. Above that level, long positions buying Ethereum with targets at 3978 and 4038, which are the nearest resistance areas. Conversely, a break below 3920 will pave the way for opening short positions with targets at 3850 and 3800. And now let's move to Repo. After a very deep correction, Ripple is stabilizing and finding strong support around 1.42, so above that level, based on horizontal support and resistance, buying Ripple with target 1.45 and then at 1.5 on the long side. Conversely, if we break below 1.42, it may be wiser to sell Ripple with targets on the short side 1.366 and 1.3. And now let's move to Cardano. The pivot point for Cardano is 1.65. Above that level, buying Cardano with targets 1.685 and 1.74. Conversely, below 1.65, the downside prevails with target 1.6. And finally, let's take a look at Compound. 820, as you can see, is the pivotal point for Compound. And above that level, buying Compound with target at the all-time high at 847, one of the best performing crypto assets, not experiencing major corrections in the last few days, but however, below 820, we could see a pullback, taking us back down to 810 and 800. These are all the insights for today. As always, keep learning with the video education section and the Crypto Games Marketing Insights subsection. And of course, join the Crypto Signals Made Easy channel for daily analysis and insightful articles and trading ideas. Thanks for joining me today. Trade wisely and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.